The fiasco with this actor completely losing it at the Delta airport and then being completely shut down by the Delta employees who are not going to put up with this BS is absolutely amazing and it's hilarious to watch in this video that we're going to be checking out here in just a second. But the, the most hilarious part about all of this is the fact that this person posted this on Twitter expecting to, you know, get a lot of sympathy from the from Twitter and all of that type of stuff. For posting this video and let's just say that the complete opposite happened of that the the insane amount of backlash and backfiring that has happened towards this actor is unbelievable so we're gonna get into this whole crazy story here and watch the video and all of that trans netflix star tommy dorfman accuses delta airlines employee of using the wrong pronouns <gasps> Oh no, not the wrong pronouns! Oh no! So yeah, you guys know exactly what what we're dealing with here. We've seen this happen time and time again. It's all nonsense, it's all silly, and it's just people that are trying to bend the entire universe to fit the reality that they want it to be, when really that's just not how reality works. We all know this. Anybody who has, you know, a brain that's more functioning than uh, the brain of a chimpanzee should be able to understand this. Tommy Dorfman is a biological man who now identifies as a woman. So the actor appeared to film himself at an airport terminal where he braided the gate intended for it, misgendering him. And uh, we do have the video here, so let's go ahead and uh, and check this out. This is coming from Libs of TikTok over on, on Twitter. Trans activists have tried bullying an airline employee for misgendering. The employee wasn't having it. So let's go ahead and, uh, and check this out. You I'm intentionally. So sorry, and what about when adults employ misgenders you so intentionally? Sorry, while she's talk while he's talking, you're talking. You just misgendered me again. Okay. Multiple times. Gotcha. Both of you have. Sorry. Wasn't sorry. intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also Well okay. she did do it intentionally twice. Gotcha. You're talking to me too. Murder. You said she and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment if you want to play that game with me. Okay. Would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. And what? <laughs> this, this is how we deal with this nonsense, people. This, this employee right here is all of us, right? Like the way that he responds to this is absolutely epic. It wasn't intentional, but if you yeah. want to take it personal, that's also. Well, she did do it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is what we need to continue to do. We need to continue to stand up. We need to continue to stop apologizing, bending the knee, all of this type of stuff. This person stood his ground. This employee stood his ground against this person. And because of that, he actually ended up being the one that won. Crazy. It's amazing what happens when you stand up against the, the bullying that these people continue to do. Intentionally twice. Okay, so talking to me too. You said she and then you said he. You're being condescending, and if you want to continue, Ooh. I have full authority escort you out the building right this moment. If you want to play that game with me, you can you can tell that this guy is like uh, he he's he's reached the end of his limit. He's reached the end of his rope. He is done. He is done with this nonsense. <laughs> you can just tell. <laughs> Poor guy. I wonder how much he has to deal with this type of stuff, man. Okay. So would you like to continue three days before Christmas? I really don't mind. I'm good. I'll just put this on. Yeah, and then look, right at the end, right at the end, Tommy was like, uh, I'm good, I'll just put this on. Yes, you will. Yes, you will. So who is Tommy Dorfman, by the way? Well, here's a video of Tommy, who is uh, showing kids on TikTok how to inject estrogen. So, uh, so there's that. Mm. Estradiol, two needles, alcohol wipe, very important to cap off. I take... Huh. Anyway, we're not gonna watch the whole thing of, of that. Look, at the end of the day, it's very simple. You shouldn't try to force everyone else to bend their speech, bend what they say to fit exactly, perfectly, the world that you want to create, okay? Because that's just not reality. That is not how any of this works. And so, the fact is that these employees, they weren't trying to be super malicious or do any of that type of stuff. That's very obvious. But you can tell they're just trying to do their job, okay? At the end of the day, that's what it boils down to. They're just trying to do their job, and you are just creating a, a big nuisance because of the way that you're acting with all of this. So that being said, huge W to these employees. Let me know what you think about this in the comments below. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll talk to you all in another video very soon.